What's up, everybody? Today I'm here to talk about Ghostbusters. And in fact, this is my second attempt to <laughs> post this video because I had recorded the original story, but then when I was about to post, I realized there is already an update to it. So now I'm recording it again and including the update in the same video. And if you have seen my title, you probably have an idea what I'm talking about, or maybe you don't, so I'm gonna give you the whole full story. All right, so let's talk about it. A few days ago, Sony said they would release as a collection gift for uh, the Ghostbusters fans a box set uh, that would include all the original films. And there was no mention of the 2016 reboot. And that makes completely sense. Why? Because that movie was not only horrible, uh, it, uh, it did not... I mean, most of the fans did not like, I rejected it completely, it was horrible, should not have been made, that's my opinion. Uh, it was not a box office success, and not only that, it was a reboot, even though there were original characters there, this movie did not take place in the original Ghostbuster universe. So if Sony were to launch a, you know, release a box set celebrating the franchise, would make sense totally that they would keep the same timeline. Especially to not confuse people or newer fans, you know, you want to watch the, the 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 same timeline. And Ghostbusters 2016 is just a poor uh, reboot, uh, something that was not funny, you know. It was just horribly written. It was just terrible, terrible, terrible. And uh, so it makes sense that they would not include. In fact, I think Sony should never even mention this movie ever again, because only to think about it, it brings a sour taste to my mouth, you know. But anyways, uh, so there was no mention that the 2016 reboot was going to be part of this box set, right? And then what happened? Well, Paul Feige, or Feige, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, so I'm sorry, uh, kind of had a meltdown on Twitter saying that, oh, it's not fair, uh, you know, the Ghostbusters 2016 uh, is part of the franchise and it should be included in this uh, box selection or whatever. And in my opinion, I just think how deluded or how delusional you have to be or you really need to live in your own little bubble to think that the fans actually want to see this film. This movie, in fact, has been available for free download, you know, for a very very long time and it's just not a movie clearly it was not a success and that's why Sony went ahead and just uh, created Ghostbusters Afterlife which is a movie that takes place in the same universe of the original films uh, and Paul Feige was just not happy with the idea and to me this is just like a sore loser move but uh, some people might say that Sony cave in because the update now is that the movie will indeed be included in the box set, but not in a version of a Blu-ray or 4K. Uh, it's basically a coupon in which you can download the, <laughs> the movie for free. So to me, this is basically uh, Sony giving uh, Feige or Feige a cookie and say, shut up, the movie is included and uh, yada, yada, yada. But anyways, so let's talk a little bit about the original article. So Hollywood Reporter and says, Paul Feige calls out Sony for not including 2016 Ghostbusters film in the franchise box set. So, like I said, on the original box set, what were we going to have? Ghostbusters original, right? Ghostbusters 2, as well as Ghostbusters Afterlife, and not only that, a lot of, like, uh, uh, BTS, you know, behind the scenes uh, interviews and things like that that usually comes on a co in on a box set. Uh, and if you have a look at Paul Fe Feige, is it Feige? You can, you can tell me the pronunciation. But anyway, the director of the 2016 reboot posted on Twitter, mm, Sony Pictures, I know this must be a mistake. We do have a lot of fans and Bill, Dan and Ernie were in it. And it won the Kids' Choice Award for Best Feature Film the year it came out. So I guess this was just an oversight. And I mean, what can we actually say about this tweet if not just trying to create some fake outrage out there for a movie that is not even good, you know? One thing is if they were really being, let's say, let's say that this was a good movie and for some reason they're not including 
then I would completely understand the director's outrage. But come on, this movie was just so silly. And uh, it was basically people dressed up as Ghostbusters. It, it has nothing to do with the universe. It did not have heart. It was not funny. In fact, uh, even Chris Hemsworth, I know I was shocked to see how he was so silly in the role. And I was just like, this is just a mess. And of course, they're targeting, uh, Paul was targeting this as oh, Sony is um, a misogynist uh, company. Or, or to me, this is just trolling. Because seriously, every person, every fan, people that love Ghostbusters knows that this movie was just a disaster. It's nothing to do with the fact that there were women, but it's to do with the fact that the script, the script was horrible and to do with the fact that they didn't acknowledge what came before. You know, uh, perhaps if they had attempted to do something that was a continuation of what, came, of what came before, if they were honoring what came before, maybe this would have been a different story. But the fact is that this movie was a disaster. Anyway, some people will say that, oh, Sony actually caved in because after this tweet, uh, Sony said, no, 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 wait a minute. Uh, the movie will be in it, just not in a, in a Blu-ray, but you're just going to have a coupon and you can download the film. And obviously, this is something that to me is just Sony giving the director a cookie and telling him shut up because uh, this was the plan all along. This has nothing to do with the fact that uh, you uh, you." complained and all the movie was going to be in it anyways uh <laughs> whether this is true or not i don't think we're ever going to know the fact is i'm definitely not interested in seeing this and this movie has already been available for free download for a very long time and people don't seem to be interested you know uh, so here we have this news on MovieWeb, Ghostbusters Ultimate Collection box set to include digital version of 2016 reboot. So here you go, Paul. Uh, Sony heard your complaint and don't worry, the 2016 movie that no one wants to watch will be available in digital version. So at least people uh, can get this piece of paper and throw it in the garbage if they don't want to watch it, you know, because seriously, that's exactly, if I were to buy this box, that's exactly what I would do. You know, I'm not interested in watching this movie again it's just really bad you know it's actually <laughs> embarrassing I would be embarrassed to be part of this film and it to me it was really sad that the original cast came back and they were just me misused you know I mean I'm not saying that Ghostbusters Afterlife was the perfect film you are you can watch my review here uh, I said that this movie had a lot of problems you know and I'm usually very honest in my opinions I, I just like to say exactly what I'm thinking and uh, even though Afterlife was not a perfect film, it was a movie that had heart. It was a movie that respected what came before. It was a movie that took place in the same universe, you know? And more, most importantly, it was a movie that, uh, you know, you could, t you could tell that the people working behind it really, uh, they were very careful. They really wanted to honor this franchise, the fans, they had love for it. I didn't see any of that feeling in the Ghostbusters 2016 version, you know, and oh my goodness, that's terrible. But let's see what the article is saying here. Um... Paul Feige Ghostbusters Answer the Call will be included. I didn't even know it was called Answer the Call, but anyways, will be included in the Ghostbuster Ultimate Collection box set after all, but it's a digital verbal version. So here you go. Have a cookie. Maybe Paul Feige will be sleeping a little easier tonight knowing his reboot won't be excluded from Ghostbusters Ultimate Collection box set. Recently it was announced that a new box set was arriving February featuring Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters 2, and even the newest movie, Ghostbusters Afterlife. Feig was unhappy that the 2016 reboot, re re retroactively dubbed Ghostbusters Answer the Call, was seemingly omitted, and he let Sony hear about it on a Twitter. Of course, I already read this for you, and um, 
how sad is, is this kind of uh, behavior, in my opinion? It's like you want to force the fans to watch something they they previously didn't support. I mean, if people liked this film, they would have gone to the theaters and supported it. No one went to the theaters and watched it. And not only that, it had horrible reviews. And of course, everyone is going to say it's just uh, white men on YouTube sitting on their basements complaining about the females. And I, I am a female myself, and I still complain about this film because it was not a good film it has nothing to do with the female cast it has to do with the fact that it was just a cheap satire something that didn't honor what came before i mean if you're doing something for the fans you need to listen to what the fans want and i hate when they just swap genders Uh, i don't think that's creative to me this is hollywood throwing crumbs to females look we have a female ghostbusters even though everyone just wants to hear about the original ghostbusters I mean, come on. Might as well just uh, spend money on an original story uh, that is about female because this was just a disaster. You know, it is even worse when they want to reboot something and they they gender swap and then they put it female and then they write horrible script. And then when it fails, they just keep blaming people that, oh, you're a misogynist. You don't like female roles and yada, yada, yada. When the truth is you had a bad movie that people didn't support because obviously... If we look back, uh, a lot of movies that were female-led, you know, we have plenty of movies out there that were very successful. It's The problem is not being female-led. The problem is being a bad movie. But anyways, guys, uh, the story is that even though uh, originally this movie was not going to be included in the box set, now it seems like some people will say that Sony cave in. I actually think this was just a Sony giving the director a cookie to tell him, shut up you know the movie was going to be included but it's going to be a coupon in which you are able to download the digital version but not uh, on blu-ray uh and 4k maybe it's 4k but it does it's just saying here uh digital version but anyways that is the news regarding ghostbusters and uh, let me know what you think about this whole situation. If you buy this box set, will you download the digital version or are you one of those people that would grab this coupon and just burn it or throw it in the garbage? Uh, like I said, I, I I don't know. I haven't met anyone that actually liked this film. Every single person that I've uh, talked about Ghostbusters, a lot of them didn't even see this movie. So uh, to have the director pretty much demand that this is part of the universe and this should be included in the box set to me is just arrogant especially when you know your movie was a failure you know if i were uh, on his position i'd be embarrassed and just never mention this movie again you know if you want to make a ghostbusters film uh just stop copying pasting what came before create new stories you know or maybe use the same timeline you know it's just (laughs) gosh it's it's I don't even know what can we say about this uh people in Hollywood and their own little bubbles. But anyways, guys, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this whole Ghostbuster situation. I would love to hear your thoughts. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. Bye!